Well, hello, my friends. Today in our reading in 1 Samuel chapter 17 and 18, we find in chapter 17 perhaps the most uh, told story of the Old Testament, and that is the story of David and Goliath. Now, uh, I want you to get the picture of the armies of the Philistines uh, lining up against the armies of Israel. And for 40 days, this giant man over nine feet tall that was uh, been a warrior since his youth stands up and he says, in chapter 17, verse 8, he said, choose a man, choose a volunteer to come out and fight me. And nobody volunteered. Nobody wanted to go out against this man. And then in chapter number 17, verse 10, he says, give me a man. So twice and in this 40 days, actually every day, the implications are every day would come out. Give me a man. Give me a man. No volunteers. Uh, but then came along David, a young man, a youth, uh, the scripture says, that that uh, uh, he had no weaponry. He was not familiar in warfare. He had killed a lion and a bear, but not in warfare with men. And uh, so here he was standing against this big uh, giant uh, and all the other people are fearful. And, you know, I, I thought about that fear is usually behind the lack of volunteers to fight in God's army. And that's exactly what happened here. Everyone was fearful, so nobody wanted to volunteer. But David, remember, he had been anointed with the, the Spirit of God, and he was going to be the next king. So he steps up, and he was like, I'll volunteer. In chapter 17, verse 47, it's very important. It says that all... Uh, uh, let me just back up in verse 46. Um, he says, all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel and that all this assembly may know that the Lord saves not with sword and spear for the battle is the Lord's and he will give you into our hand. David was confident and David killed him. And we know that uh, Israel routed the Philistines. Now, uh, Saul made him one of his commanders, uh, David. And in chapter 18, verse 12, Saul was afraid of him. 1815, Saul saw his successes and was fearful. In 1829, Saul was afraid of him. And in 1830, David had more successes because he volunteered under the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, friends, I want to say there's going to be many giants in your life. There's many giants every day, uh, perhaps, uh, in some of our lives. We're fighting some sort of a giant that seems too much for us, but through the power of the Spirit, we can conquer that giant. We've just got to volunteer. We can't be afraid. We can't draw back. We've got to go forward. I, I like this. David didn't draw back. He went towards the enemy through the power of the Holy Spirit, and he uh, uh, he was confident uh, that God was going to fight the battle for him, and God will fight your battles too. So I want you to have a wonderful day as you as you volunteer in God's army and go fight those giants. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.